Arya Divari, an Iranian wrestler, received death threats. Let's talk about that. What is up, YouTube? It's your boy Smeckin' Pa here, aka The Guy here. And uh, today I want to talk about an issue that I never thought it's going to raise again. And this is coming after Greatest Royal Rumble, but a from Greatest Royal Rumble segment. Let's get started. Now, during Greatest Royal Rumble, there was a small segment of four Saudi Arabian prospects, four Saudi Arabian wrestlers from tryouts. And basically, they were doing their stuff. Then the Diwari brothers, the Arya Diwari brothers, they were back in the past. They interrupted them, and then they came. And then the whole segment was to, you know, show, basically for the crowd to cheer their, you know, Saudi wrestlers. And it was basic for the crowd. We both know that the whole show is scripted. And if, if to this day, if someone says WWE is real, and no, this is not scripted... <sighs> What can we do about them? Now, after this segment, the Divari, the Arya Divari received death threats. From who? From Iranians. Now, I found this article and it says, Arya Divari issued statement after receiving death threats for Greatest Royal Rumble segment. In the latest bit of real world fallout from Greatest Royal Rumble, the first event in a 10 year partnership agreement between WWE and the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, Arya Divari has issued a statement explaining a segment where he and his brother Sean appeared waving an Iranian flag and disparaging a group of Saudi wrestling prospects before being dispatched by the cartel. Divari, who's an Iranian-American from Minnesota, I don't know how to pronounce that, explained he issued the statement after receiving death threats. He said, During an appearance this past Friday, I portrayed a fictional character and played the role of the antagonist, no different than what other actors actors would do in a movie or TV show. That character does not reflect my personal views and I apologize to anyone that may have been offended by the skit. I have an incredible amount of respect for the great people of Iran and I'm very proud of my Iranian heritage. Thank you. He also said, unfortunately, some people took offense to this despite being it pure entertainment. Some threats were made against my life. I wanted to put this statement out to clarify where I as a person stand completely compared to my TV character. Now we both know that the WWE is scripted and I want to point this out that the death threats were made by Iranians not Saudi fans so don't start hating on Saudis. They know that this show is scripted, this show is whole like a storyline, it's an entertainment but the Iranians because this is not a, like WWE is not a big thing there so they took it seriously and since we know that Iran and Saudi Arabia and all the other political stuff that have that's happening the Iranians took it the, to the next step they took it seriously and this thing has became a headline in Iran and I when I saw this I was actually kind of discussed like what is this is this entertainment if that's the case, why are not blaming the villain or antagonist from movie or TV scene? What is this? This is some kind of ridiculous. What? This is some next level ridiculous. That's a word. But anyways, guys, what you think about the whole situation? Let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for today's video. I hope you guys got something from this video. Because if you do, hit that like button. If you're new, hit the subscribe button. And I will, of course, see you all in the next one. So take care of yourself and your family. And peace out.